Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarmgrid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to check your Interlogic Simon XT's firmware version. So today we have our Simon XT uh, and it's disarmed at the home screen. Now checking the firmware version on the Simon XT is probably one of the easiest thing in the world to do. Um, you really just have to use these up and down arrow keys and it'll show you your revision number and that's what's uh, that's pretty much how you're gonna check the firmware. So uh, just to show you guys a quick video, um, you're gonna hit the up or down arrow key, doesn't matter which way you go. Eventually, you will come across a screen that will show you the revision. Now mine is on 1.6, so that is actually the latest firmware version or revision that the Simon XTs have. However, if you guys are looking to get monitored, your system only needs to be revision 1.3 or higher so if your system is 1.3 or higher you guys can actually add an alarm.com communicator to your system now some of you are asking what is alarm.com alarm.com is an interactive platform that allows you to interact with your system from your phone or a computer anywhere in the world you can be on vacation you can be at work you could be in a different state, in a different country. As long as you guys have a service on your phone, if you guys have it connected to Wi-Fi, if you guys get on a computer, you can go to alarm.com or the alarm.com application and you can actually control your alarm system from the alarm.com platform. You can arm and disarm. If you guys decide to get any Z-Wave devices uh, as well, you guys can control the uh, thermostats, locks, lights, uh, garage door controllers, a whole bunch of different Z-Wave devices that you guys can use. You guys can create email and text message, text message alerts. If you guys have alarm.com cameras, you can also access the video camera footage from the application or the website. Basically, alarm.com, it allows you to include and add a whole bunch of devices to your system that you normally wouldn't be able to do if you didn't have the system monitored. Now again, if you're gonna be using alarm.com platform, you need to have an alarm.com communicator. That's why you need to check your firmware version. So if you have a Simon XT, or if you're buying a Simon XT, which most of these are actually discontinued now. Um, so just because they're discontinued doesn't mean we have stopped supporting them. We still will monitor them. If you have a Simon XT out there, you don't have to replace it. We actually sell communicators for the system. LTE communicators, which are long-term evolution. So those are gonna be around for quite a while. And they also have an internet path available for them as well. Um, it's gonna be hardwired ethernet. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, but yes, you guys can actually connect um, an alarm.com communicator. And all you have to do, again, is just check the firmware version. And if it's 1.6, if it's 1.3 or higher, you guys are perfect. You're ready to go. You just have to buy the communicator, get it uh, installed into the system, and just get it set up for one of our monitoring plans that include the alarm.com service. Now, one of the other options that you guys can do is actually upgrade the panel to an IQ2+, Plus, uh, a Qolsys IQ2+. Plus. So uh, what the IQ2+, Plus is, is basically another system. It has a built-in 319.5 megahertz receiver. It's this system right here that's on the wall right next to me. Uh, the system will work with all of your already existing Interlogic sensors. So you guys don't need to reuse the same Simon panel. You guys can actually upgrade the panel to this alarm system. It comes with Wi-Fi built-in. It comes with the LTE communicator built-in. It works with partitions. It holds 128 sensors. It works with PowerG. If you guys have any sensors that couldn't reach before, I guarantee with PowerG, you'll actually be able to reach now. PowerG sensors have a range of up to 2,000 feet, and you can mix and match. So you can use your existing sensors and add PowerG sensors on top of that for the sensors that may be far off. Um, the system has partitions, has Bluetooth built in as well. It works with alarm.com, which is the same service that, alarm, uh, that the Simon panel would use as well. So. Uh, that's also a very good option for you guys to think about doing, upgrading to an IQ2 Plus that has a 319.5 legacy daughterboard card built in. And if you guys have any questions about the upgrade, please just give us a call or, or just send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit that little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.